Get ready for disappointment. It's called your life. Hey guys, I'm Devin Zalima, and I want to talk to you guys about something that's been happening to me this week, and that is having a terrible cold. I want to talk to you guys about the things that are really hard to do when you are sick, because there's so many things that like you know they're difficult to do when you're sick, but you don't really fully realize just how terrible they are until you have to do them. I'm drinking a uh, kombucha tea, which has like all these like weird little um, probiotic organisms in them. Like it has like one billion of one and one billion of another. If you guys can kind of see, those are all like live organisms that are like floating around in the bottom. I know it looks disgusting, but trust me, it is so good for you. So let's get into some of these tasks. So we're gonna start with the most obvious one. First up is breathing. Breathing is super hard as you can see here. I'm coughing, life is hard. You know, my nose is red. I wish I were dead, that rhymed. Falling asleep is really hard when you're sick because you cannot get comfortable. Sometimes I like to just pretend like I'm having a tiny seizure. During those rare moments when your antibiotics really kick in, you can get some work done, you can check in with everyone at the office, but then as soon as you know it, though it's nap time again, and the keyboard makes a great pillow. Exercise is probably one of the easiest ways to make yourself feel better about everything, but you can also feel great by just giving up. Blowing your nose is terrible when you're sick because it feels like nothing's coming out. But sometimes if you push really hard, you get little tiny surprises, um, like that remote that you lost at the beginning of the week. Always check your nose. Once you have fallen asleep, waking up is also terrible. Um, so I like to pretend like I'm having another seizure and I like fresh rounds and somehow the ringing stops. It's hard to care about how you're gonna pack for vacation when you're sick, so just throw it. Responding to text messages is really hard when you're sick. Um, usually because like you'll you'll read them, but like you just don't care. So good for you. Good for you. It's also super hard to keep coming up with things that are hard to do when you're sick. So it's easier to just sit there, so that's cool. Drinking liquids is really hard when you're sick because you can't breathe out your nose. But as long as you let them out your mouth, you'll be fine. Trust me. Speaking in front of a camera is super hard. Do I sound normal? Do I no, sound normal? you don't sound normal, sweetheart. And you should probably just stop trying at this point, but it's not going to work out. Cleaning can be a great way to take your mind off of things, but also you could just take a nap on the vacuum, because um, cleaning's hard. And lastly, trying to find your way out of the shower is the worst. Hope you guys enjoyed this awesome tutorial on what not to do when you're, like, sick. Hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. And even if you hated it, just just do it because you feel really bad for me. Because my life is like really hard right now. I hope that you guys are well and doing better than I've been doing this week. Just actually, I have to say, I'm a lot better today. Today has been the best that I've been in like a week. I love you guys and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Later. It's finally here. Oh, 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 oh. It's here. Oh. oh, there's a bobby pin from last week's video on the ground. Ooh.
It's really dusty. Editing Devin, you're gonna be so stoked when you see how much stuff there is to cut out. You're gonna be like, oh my god, this took forever to render, but then you're gonna be like, oh hell yeah, man. You killed it with setting up stuff for forever. I didn't like shoot the entire video from my couch. Damn, that would have been cool. Cheers, motherfuckers.